Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we're going to do some tutorial discussion for chapter 9 and we're going to focus on the subtopic of 9.1 introduction and 9.2 nomenclature of carbonyl compound. We're going to do tutorial question 1, tutorial question 2 and tutorial question 3 respectively. Without any further ado, let us start. So for tutorial question 1, we have to give the IUPAC name for each of the following aldehyde and ketones. So for structure A, uh, we're going to have one uh, we have the structure here which is this is a carbonyl and when it is attached to the hydrogen it is known as aldehyde okay so the carbon that is attached to the functional group of aldehyde going to be numbered as number one okay so we're going to take the longest carbon chain which is one two three four five and six okay so this is our longest carbon chain and we going to name it as hexane but because it is aldehyde so we're going to name it as hexanal okay al refers to aldehyde which is hexanal and then we have two we have three substituents so we have ch3 here we have cl here and we have ch3 here okay and as usual we need to follow the alphabetical order which is chloro first and then we have two methyl groups so it's going to be dimethyl Okay, so chloro is attached at carbon number 4 and dimethyl going to be attaching at carbon number 2 and 4. So the whole name going to be 4 chloro 2 4 dimethyl hexanal. Okay, and for structure C here, we have the carbonyl group and then the carbonyl going to attach with CH3. Okay, so this refers to the class of ketone. Okay, so as usual, we have to find the longest carbon chain. So 1, 2, 3, 4, you want to go here or here, doesn't matter because it is still the same thing. Okay, so the longest carbon chain here is going to be 5. So it's going to be propane. However, because it is a functional group of ketone, so it's going to be propanone. And then the carbon double bond is going to be attached at carbon number 2. So it's going to be 2 propanone. And then uh, we have two substituents which we have carbon number bromine at carbon number 3 and methyl at carbon number 4. So we're going to write the bromine first which is the substituent going to be promo and then we're going to have the methyl. So bromo it is attached at carbon number 3 and methyl is attached at carbon number 4. So it's going to be 3 bromo, 4 methyl, 2, sorry, pentanone because it's 5 carbon, right? So I'm writing it as propanone pula. So it's going to be pentanone. Okay. Now we're going to do the uh, structure F here. So similar thing, look at the functional group first, which is the carbonyl. But now it is attached with two alkyl group. Okay, so there's no hydrogen, so you know that it is a ketone. And then we have one, two, and three. So okay, so we have three carbons, so it's gonna be a propanone. Okay, because of three carbon. Just now here is five carbon, so pentanone. Okay. And then uh, our substituent here is going to be phenyl, which is C6H5. Okay, so therefore we need to change our numbering. So our numbering should start from here 1, 2, and 3, so that it gives the lowest number to the substituent. Okay, so it's going to be uh, propanone, and then it's going to be. 1 phenyl, 2 propanone. Okay, so it's going to be 1 phenyl, 2 propanone, as mentioned here. Okay, so that's for question number 1. For question number 2, we have to draw the structural formula for each of the following compound. So we have 2 ethyl, 3 methyl, pentanal. So we need to draw 
pentanyl is 5 carbon chain, right? So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And pentanyl here refers to aldehyde. So aldehyde is always at the end of the chain. Okay, the hujong carbon chain. So it always numbered from here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then at carbon number 2, it's going to be attaching with ethyl group, which is CH2, CH3. Okay, and then at carbon number 3, it's going to be attaching with methyl. So it's going to be looking something like this. Okay. So here and here is still the same. It's just like a, a pattern stuff. Okay, because the difference is exact. But essentially, it's the same thing. 3, 4, and 5. 1, 2, sorry. 3, 4, and 5. Okay? And then for C, we have the ketone here. We have the acetone. So acetone here refers to 2 proba non. Okay, and sometimes the propanone, we don't put it as two because we know that propanone, which is a ketone, it always needs to be at the middle. Okay, so acetone is the common name and the propanone here is going to be the IUPAC name. Okay, so for certain material, you need to, for certain compound, you need to know the common name. For example, the acetone, formaldehyde, and you need to be able to convert that into the IUPIC name because certain question in PSPM they will be using common name for the carbonyl, uh, for the carbonyl and certain carboxylic acid name. Okay, so you need you know that you need to draw a ketone which is the propanone. Okay, so you're gonna draw it like this. Okay. Now for tutorial question 3, we have to draw the structural formula and give the IUPAC name for the aldehyde and ketone with the molecular formula of C8H8O containing a benzene ring. Okay, so we have to we have a molecular formula of C8H8O and then we know that we have our benzene ring. Okay, so benzene ring is C6. H6 usually, usually when it become a substituent it's going to become C6H5 okay so now we need to draw aldehyde as well as a ketone so uh, we have C8H8O so the balance that we have is C2H3O okay so I think we can make a ketone first so let's say if we make it 1 and 2 and then double bo uh, carbon oxygen double bond here so it's going to become a ketone here okay so it's going to be CH3 C double bond O so here going to be C2 H3 O when you add up together, you will get C8H8O, which is consistent. So this is going to be your first structure here. Okay, so let me draw it nicely. So this structure here, which is known as the phenyl ethanol. 1 and 2, which is ethanol, and then it's going to be, sorry, 1 and 2, and then it's going to be attaching at carbon number 1. Okay, and then... Um, what you're going to do, this is ketone, right? So I think for ketone, we couldn't move any more bonds because this is the, the only thing that we can do for ketone. What we can do now, maybe we can change it into an aldehyde. So it's the same one, which is the benzene ring. And then you're going to make an uh, aldehyde. So you have C6 now, and then you need to get C8. So two carbon. 1 and 2 and then at the last chain here going to make it as a aldehyde okay here is ch and ch so the total if you were to count each going to be c8 h8 o as well okay because this one is c6 h5 here is c2 h3 o okay 
So this is going to be our uh, second structure, which is uh, an aldehyde here. So if I were to draw it, uh, something like this, so it's going to be 1 and 2. So 1 and 2 is known as the ethanol, so it's going to be 2 phenyl ethanol. Okay. And here going to be 1 phenyl ethanol. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to make another possibilities of aldehyde because ketone, we can't do, we cannot do much. So what I can do now is I can try to make a benzaldehyde. Okay, so benzaldehyde is something like this. Okay, so it uses up our C O H. Okay, and then what's for now? I'm I'm already uses C seven and then H six O. So what I'm left is C compared to this one C H two. Okay, so what I can do is to make a substituent so that the one of the hydrogen here can make it as CH3. Okay, so maybe I can start it from here. So if I were to do that, I will get my structure to be C6 because 6 carbon of the benzene ring, 1 and 2 here, so going to be C8, and then hydrogen going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, and then oxygen is going to be 0. So I know that this can be my third structure here. Okay, so let me draw it again. Okay, so if I were to draw it nicely, I'm going to get this structure here. So this is known as the benzaldehyde, as what you have learned in the special name of the benzene, and then it's going to be attached at carbon number 2. So it's going to be 2 methyl benzaldehyde. Okay. Or you can change it to ortho methyl benzaldehyde. Okay. At the same time, you can now make an isomer where you can move the CH3 into here. Okay. So you can change it into there. So what you're going to get is you're going to get 3 methyl benzaldehyde. Or you can write it as Meta methyl benzaldehyde. Okay. And the same thing, you can also change the position of the CH3 here into this side here. So once you do that, what you're going to get is 4 methyl benzaldehyde. 1, 2, 3, 4. Or the other name for 4 methyl benzaldehyde is going to be para methyl benzaldehyde. Okay. So either one. Okay, so I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye!